Hello once again, everybody. This is Terrence Warren, uh, Cisco Twitter guy. And the last video that I did, you know, we talked about degrees versus certification, some pros and cons of each, and why I felt that it was more uh, instrumental <clears throat> and more just better to have certifications because they carry more weight than degrees in this day and age and that uh, a degree in IT is not really mandatory or even necessary. Well anyway, now that we've discussed about, we've discussed why I think it is better to pursue a certification track, <clears throat> let's talk about which certifications to pursue and why. A lot of people always ask me, I'm always asked about CompTIA versus CCNA. You know, a lot of people, they go for A plus or net plus, and so they go for the CompTIA certifications, and then they want to get the CCNA. Well, I didn't do that at all. <clears throat> now, I've had both. I had a net plus, an A plus, and a CCNA. And I had the A plus and net plus like a year before I got my CCNA. <clears throat> now, one of the reasons I don't recommend CompTIA search is their entry level certs. Um, and what I mean by that, you get an A plus or a net plus, because they're vendor neutral certifications, they're not gonna cover or be as detailed as something like the CCNA or Juniper or, or any of those vendor specific certs. And, and Cisco is not a small company. Cisco is like the dominant company in networking devices and, and, and things. So if you learn the Cisco command line, most of the other companies that produce or manufacture networking devices, they follow the same command line. There's only a few minor differences, if any. Brocade was a company that was born out of Cisco. They were people who worked with Cisco and left to, to make their own but they still continue to use the same command line interface commands so that people that have learned Cisco wouldn't have to retrain to learn their equipment. And that's the same as with uh, <clears throat> Avaya. Avaya, their, their command line is pretty close to uh, Cisco. And I, I think it's the same for Juniper. You know, there's, there's not a lot of difference in the command lines for those devices. Now, with CompTIA, like I said, CompTIA is an entry-level search, and in many cases, I think the CompTIA search are even harder, but yet they carry less prestige, less weight in the industry. Um, you get a CompTIA search, <clears throat> let's say you have a Net Plus, and someone else has a CCNA, and you're going for the same position. If, you have, if everything else is the same, your experience is the same, um, if you're just equal and everything but those certifications, then the person with the CCNA is going to beat out the person with the Net Plus because Cisco is a highly recognized company. They carry way more weight and credibility than the uh, CompTIA cert. A CompTIA cert is entry level. So the only type of positions you'll get with the entry level cert are entry level positions. I was getting entry level, those type of positions without the certification. So when I got uh, a plus and a net plus, plus, it was a year, and then for a whole year, I didn't get anything. It didn't really get me anywhere. And then when you think about it, <clears throat> now you have to recertify every three years, even with CompTIA. So if you get a CompTIA sir, let's say you get a net plus in an entry level position that pays maybe fifteen dollars an hour, right? That's that's entry level. Three years later, <clears throat> you have to re recertify your net plus before it expires. Now, three years, you shouldn't be entry level anymore. You should be mid-level or, or progressing. Why recertify an entry level cert? You know, because after three years, and you're, if you're still like at an entry level position after three years, something's wrong. <clears throat> and the other thing is the time you spend, the time that you put in to get this net plus certification is the same time that you could spend be spending on the CCNA because the information is almost uh, exactly the same except Cisco. Uh, it's a the Cisco cert is a 
vendor specific cert. So they go more into detail on Cisco equipment. But you learn so much more. When you get a CCNA, you learn so much more than what you would learn with the NIT Plus. <clears throat> CCNA covers a little bit of wireless, they cover uh, access lists, they cover uh, some security. They cover, they touch on a whole bunch of things. They talk about the ASA, um, switches, routers, whatever. So your knowledge base is more in depth and detail on networking and networking equipment and routing and switching when you're pursuing the Cisco CCNA versus the Net Plus because it's vendor neutral. They won't get into any of the brands or vendors or any specific type of equipment. So they stay general. And when you stay general, that's almost the basics. They're touching the basics so that they don't go in depth in any particular area. And to me, I mean, <clears throat> if I had the choice, if I could go back, I wouldn't have got any CompTIA certs. I wouldn't have even wasted any time on CompTIA certifications. Now, I know I got a lot of friends that do have CompTIA certs, and they still pursue CompTIA certs. So I don't want to step on anybody's toes or piss anybody off. But I, I, me personally, would not waste my time on any CompTIA certs, even Security Plus. I, I took that one and I failed it because I felt like it was extremely difficult. You know, a lot of material that I was studying for the Security Plus wasn't even on that test. So it's it's so much that you need to know. And I just felt lost. And then at the same time, I have a CCNA security, which, like I said, carries more weight than CompTIA. And to me, it was an easier certification to get than the Security Plus. So I don't know if they're intentionally making these things super hard to compete or, or to stay relevant, because that's what CompTIA is trying to do. They're, they're creating more certs because they're trying to stay relevant, because all they are are entry-level certs. So if if I want to go for a position, <clears throat> I would just stick with sit, go Cisco, which trumps any CompTIA cert, you know, whatever. It trumps CompTIA, and it's just, it has more prestige to it, you know. So that's my take on uh, CompTIA versus Cisco certifications. Uh, most of my career, my, well, recently anyway, in, within the last four or five years, I've been just doing uh, specifically Cisco devices and, and working in Cisco environments. But uh, when I was in the military, you know, there was Nortel, there were so many other vendors, and, and in the military, they didn't just use one specific vendor for all things. They, it was a mix of everything. You know, we had Lucent, they had uh, Avaya, they had Nortel, uh, and they had some Cisco. So I didn't really get involved in Cisco until after I got out where most companies in, in the industry um, use Cisco product. I mean, you know, there's not many places, not many businesses, enterprises that don't use any Cisco devices or equipment. And the way Cisco does it, if any company is a Cisco partner and they have Cisco certified engineers or technicians employed, then they get bigger discounts on products. And that's how Cisco keeps companies or gets companies to hire Cisco certified technicians and engineers. So that's another thing to think about. <clears throat> um, so with that being said, uh, I hope that helps you make a decision on whether to pursue uh, Cisco certifications or CompTIA. All right. So till the next video, I'll holler at you.